Hello and welcome to Bitfumes. I am your host Sarthak and this video is all about running your GitHub Action workflow locally. So we all love GitHub Action. It just makes your life easy with the GitHub integration and doing all kind of automation, CI, CD pipelines and everything is going to be amazing. But all you need to do is just have to push on your branch on your github repository to test out your workflow this is again a time consuming thing relying on the internet and obviously it takes a lot of effort to visit the github and see actions are running and at last just to test these workflow we are consuming the github action times because in a free version you get limited number of minutes to run the github action so it would be easy if you can test out all these github workflow in your local environment that will be fast easy to debug not time consuming and most importantly not going to eat up the github action minutes you have so how you can do that very first thing you need to do is check out this repository which is called github.com nectos act so act is a simple command line system which you can install on your operating system on your uh, computer whether you are using mac windows linux it's available in everywhere so you can use this to run your workflow the one important thing is it needed the docker it's really really important to have the docker in your system so first of all you need to run or install the docker in your system you can just go here and download for mac linux or windows once you have the docker you have to open the docker and it should be available very soon once you are installed and at last it should be available and running in your uh, menu bar somewhere so maybe you can just open this and search for docker and boom docker is there cool but we need the act how do we install so i'm using mac os and with the mac os you can use the brew to install the act now that's once again going to be super easy so how you can do that you can just say brew install act now it's going to download and it's going to run it i already installed it and that's why it says that it's already installed <laughs> cool now what you need to do first of all you need to learn about a simple command called act that's not a difficult thing to guess <laughs> okay so how do you use it first of all you can have a help command here which will going to list out all the command you can use yeah i know it's a little uh, tedious and overwhelming to see a lot of commands but the interesting one i am going to use is this it's going to list out all the workflow in your current directory so i am on my like root so what's going to happen if i say hyphen l so just ignore this warning this is related to the mac os but it basically says that there is no dot github slash workflows directory so that it can list out the workflow so if there is no workflow directory how it can find the workflows so to make this act happy let's go to the vs code where i have a simple project a react project and in this react project you can see i have this github directory and there's a workflows directory and there are two different workflow available now how do we do that once again let's do the act hyphen l and this time you can see it's printed out two different uh, workflow which i have on my dot github slash workflows directory cool so this is really really amazing to see that act is working fine now how do we run any workflow let's go and visit this and it's just having the name of run test and the branch is main branch so whenever we push on the main branch this will going to trigger the job the name of the job is test it's using the latest ubuntu the steps are very easy 
pause checkout, npm install and npm run test. Now the question arises, how we can go and run this workflow? It's going to be extremely easy because act makes things simple. You just need to run this command act without anything and it's going to run all the workflows you have in your workflows directory. So if I run act, the first thing it's asking because this is the first ever I'm running the act. It says that, hey, I need some of the Docker image to run all these workflow. And I have three kind of these images. So first one is micro size, which is less than 200 MB. Then is the medium size, which is around 500. And the large one, which is around 20 plus GB. Now, which one you should use? So obviously for most of the time, micro or maybe medium is sufficient. Why they have large size image? Because in uh, enterprise level application, you're going to use the GitHub action at its max. So to use all the features of GitHub action, every kind of GitHub workflow, you have to use this image to test that out in your local. But as I said, we are good to go with the medium. So you can use the, your arrow keys to change this selection. I'm going to use the medium and hit enter. And as I told you, it's using Docker for pulling out all the images for the act to use the GitHub uh, action or I can say to mimic the GitHub action environment. It's going to run all these things. And once we have this medium sized image, we will be able to see that act is going to run these two workflow locally. So let's just wait for this to complete. So now you can see it has downloaded and ran the two workflow we have, but I'm going to run the workflows once again. So I'm going to run this act command and you can see there are two different workflow, create release and run test. So here we have uh, release, release, then test, test. So this is going to be the test job and this is the release job. So name of the job appears here. So create release is the workflow name. Yes, this is the name. And inside that the job name is release. So create release workflow release is a job. So first it's doing starting the image for both of these workflow create release and run test. So once again, let's verify this run test is the name of the workflow and test is the job we are having here. Cool. So one by one, you can see it is running all the things needed for these workflows. And at last you can see for the release, it's actually failing. It's failing because the parameter token not found or it doesn't have the token. So in this one, we need this token. We will see how we can add the token for the act, but right now it's failing because of this token thing. And what about this run test? At last run test is passed. Now the question comes how it just ran all these just by saying act. So for this, let's go to the GitHub. Uh, you can say documentation here. And it says that when you just going to run the act, it's actually have a event trigger, which is the push event trigger by default. So if you go on these workflow, so here is the event, which is the push event on the main branch. Now, once again, here is also a push event on the main branch. Now, what if I say not push, actually, I'm going to say pull request. So when you create a pull request, then only going to run this create release. And when there is a push on the main branch, then create a run test. Now let's see what's going to happen or how many workflow it's going to run. So you can see it's only ran the test workflow. Why? Because the default event for the act is push. And at the push point, we are only running this workflow. So how do we change the event? It's very easy. Just say event name after the act and this is going to run the workflow, which is going to be triggered only with the pull request event. 
and the one we have is the release one okay so this is extremely easy when you have to run a specific type of workflow from your github actions now what if you have five or ten github workflows and you just want to test a specific job like given here so you need to give the job name here act with a hyphen j as the flag so let's go and see what this j flag is doing so i'm going to search for j flag and this is just going to specify the job we are going to run so it says run a specific job id good so act hyphen j and in our case there is a job called test so let's run the test and you can see it's running the test only and what about this one it's a release so job name is release so i just replace this with release and it has ran only this particular uh, you can say workflow that's really amazing so right now you can see this workflow is failing because this project is not available on the github and that's why it's failing but the important thing i want to show you here is how you can pass out the secrets for testing in your local environment using act so just for showing how you can pass the token i'm going to remove these things and i say that hey i just want to run and i'm going to run only the echo so echo hello github token so like this now let's try to run this and see what's going to happen when we complete it obviously this is now passing because we don't have anything here but now here you can see it just say hello and nothing because yes we don't have any github uh, token or the secret of github token so how you can add the token once again it's going to be easy with the github token or passing any kind of secret not just the github token so you just need to pass this s flag which says that secret and then the key and the value okay so that's going to be easy because now i'm going to say hyphen s github token as my token now let's run this once again and this time it's going to show us the github token but wait this is a secret it should not be revealed and that's why you can see it says hello asterisk not the real value of the github token this is the power of act even you are using on the local it just take care of the security so this is how you can have the github tokens in the act but one thing i am worrying about remember when i was running the act first time it was available with some option and the option was for the runner what kind of runner or the docker image you want for this act we decided to use the medium but what if later on you want to change it so the act has a, a act rc file in your system which will have everything available there or basically about what kind of image you are using so if i search for act rc you can see act rc is available in your root so let's search and see how our act rc look like so just use vim to open the act rc and this time it says that uh, you went to act 2020 22 04 and 2018 latest so four images are available but i want to switch it back to the simple one or which is micro so i just need to do one thing which is removing this act rc once i remove the act rc you can see i don't have anything and now if i try to run my act command it's again asking that which type of image or runner you want let's use this time the micro one and when you use the micro you can see it says node slim version so buster slim version is it has used and it's very very easy and this time if i see now the image is changed from human to to just node image and that's the power of uh, our slim micro runner so this 
act is really really amazing to have the power of your github action in your local so let me know whether you are going to use this act or not just comment below your views is it good bad or really confusing or is there any other tool you know that is better than this act just comment below and let me know that there is something available and i will going to create a video on that also also if you like this video just go and subscribe to this between youtube channel and follow me on other platforms especially on x yeah twitter you can call it so we will meet in some other videos till then goodbye